Hey guys, it's Yao. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I went to the library and I took you guys with me and I also borrowed a bunch of books, like way more than usual. And I share this with you and talk a little bit about that. So without further ado, let's just get straight into the video. So I got back from the library like five hours ago, but I didn't film just because I was way too tired. Um, for some reason, when I go out and do stuff, it like drains my energy. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna give you guys a little, well, it's not really little, it's kind of a big book haul because... I got more books than I usually would get from the library. So let me just show you guys all the books that I borrowed really quickly. So first, let me show you guys the books that I put on hold and that were available today. Um, so the first one is Crying in H Mart. And this is a memoir. Um, and it's about this woman and her relationship with her mother. I believe her mother is dying from cancer like while she is in this book. Um, yeah, I, that's pretty much what I know about it, and I think it also tackles themes like abuse. I'm not sure about that, but I'm pretty sure it does. And then I also put a hold on Truly Devious. It's this young adult mystery, um, and I heard this is very good, but there are some mixed reviews, um, on it, on Goodreads. I mean, there are pretty much for all popular books. Um, but this I've heard pretty good things about. And I just want to read a really good young adult mystery. Um, it kind of reminds me of A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I like that one. Like, I enjoyed it a lot when I first read it. But like, when I, once I let it sit, I was just like, eh, it's just a three star read for me. But I still liked reading it. Like the actual experience of reading it was pretty great. Um, I finished it all in one sitting, if I remember correctly. And I only do that with books that are like really addicting to read. And I just want an enjoyable experience of reading a young adult mystery. So I think this is gonna give me that. Also, it's part of a series. And I do like just like starting series, just like, cause I wanna like complete a series. So yeah. Um, and then I also put a hold on Legendborn. And guys, somehow I didn't realize that Legendborn is literally 500 pages. So I'm probably not going to be able to finish this. Um, yeah, just realistically, I don't think I'll be able to finish this. Unless it's like really addicting and it just like sucks me into like the world of this book. Which, that would be a very good experience. Um... But I just don't think it will happen. Um, I'm kind of sad about that. Uh, yeah. I just, I'm not in a place right now where I could read, like, long books. Because I'm, like, getting back into reading. I have been for, like, the past two-ish years. So, I don't know. I just, yeah, with school and, like, everything else I have to do, it's just not really realistic for me to go through a 500-page book. Um, yeah. So, kind of sad about this but maybe i'll come back to it another time if you have read it before let me know do i need to read it is it amazing because if so then maybe i will make a plan and get through it um yeah okay and then i do need to go to bed soon because tomorrow is monday and usually when i go to bed at like the time right now like 10 15 probably i'll wake up like with not enough time to get ready. Um, so I really need to finish this up. Let me show you guys the books that I borrowed spontaneously. Like, 
I saw them and I was like, I want to borrow this. And I did put a hold on them beforehand. Okay, so first one I borrowed was, well, not first one I borrowed. There's <laughs> just the first one I want to show you guys is um, the Raven Boys. And I have heard mixed reviews about this one. Um, yeah, so I don't know. But like still somewhat mostly positive. Um, I have no idea what it's about. I'm going into it blind. Um, I do know it's like, I think it's like LGBTQIA. Like, I think it's like um, romance maybe. Um, I have no idea. So yeah, it should be an interesting time. Um, it is kind of a long book, almost 400 pages, but it's okay. It's like just 400 pages. So it still should be pretty doable for me. Um, yeah. So maybe if I can do 400 pages, I can do 500 pages. So maybe I can complete Legendborn. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. And then <laughs> the next one I will show you guys is Imposter Syndrome and Other Confessions of Alejandra Kim. And this has been like, this has been a book that I've been eyeing for weeks now um maybe even months um but it's, i really want to get to this because i did hear it's like very good like a five star so for some people so maybe it will be oh my gosh i cannot talk too fast otherwise i stumble over my words maybe it will be a five star for me too um don't really know what it's about i think it's about this girl who's let me read the summary real quick she okay so basically she feels like she doesn't fit in she struggles with like finding her identity um because she has a super like the book says she has a super spanish name and she has a super korean face um and so like this doesn't fit to people's like what they think she should be i guess um okay interesting um yeah don't really know what to expect but well, I do know what to expect. I'm expecting good things because I've heard mostly positive reviews about this. Um, yes. Okay, I've got three more books to show you. So this one is a romance. It's very short. Um, and I actually saw this at the last bookstore that I went to. It's if I didn't buy it and I was considering doing so. So yeah no idea what this is about it's a romance i believe set in france and i think it's between strangers um like they start off as strangers i think yeah i'll have to check but i think so oh yeah when i say i have no idea what it's about it's like i don't really know the plot that well okay um and also i picked this up like, I was drawn to this book mostly because of the cover. Um, I'm not going to lie. I just found the cover pretty cute. And also, it's short. So, I'm like, it's not a big risk reading this, probably. Like, even if I don't love it, it's pretty short. So, Okay, I got, I've got two more books to go through. I'm going to go through these pretty rapid fire. Because, number one, I don't have that much to say about them. Because I don't know that much about these ones. Um, and number two, I want to go to bed. <laughs> um, like, I really want to go to bed. Um, okay, so... I got their vicious games right here and i just realized this is kind of like it's kind of like reflective i think this part uh, i'm not sure if you can see that also i can tell that like i can tell that i'm like my recording is like reflecting off of this um so i don't know if you guys have noticed that but i've been noticing it um like when i'm looking back at the clips so yeah um, so their vicious games is a, I think it's a mystery and, um, maybe it's a thriller. It's a thriller or mystery. I don't know. It's one of those or both. Um, but it's about rich white people. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know that much about it. Um, well, I do know the synopsis. Um, I guess I can share that with you guys, but I don't know it that well. So basically I think this girl, um, she so she's been on a scholarship at like this fancy school but then like um one fight leaves her like blacklisted from this college that she really wants to go to like her top choice um and then she has to the only way she's able to earn back the scholarship i guess 
yeah, is to compete in this contest, which is like, it's paid for um, by this really rich family. Um, and if you win the contest, um, then, oh, and 12 winners are selected then you will be able to like enter the family and they will pay for anything. Um, yeah, let's see, are there any stakes? No, and then there's like a little bit more of the blurb, which I didn't like go through. Um, but basically what it said was like, she notices something isn't quite right. Um, yeah, so I, yeah, I'm excited for this one, um, yeah. And then the next one I have is a soulmate equation by Christina Lauren. And uh, I don't know. I I don't know if I'll like this. This is a romance. And I usually, I don't know. I like romance sometimes. I have like a love-hate relationship with it. Like in the moment, it's really fun to read. But then I will notice, like the critical side of my brain will notice things that I don't like. And it's hard to really like. It's hard to really like get into it without like criticizing everything. That goes for pretty much everything I read, but I notice it in romance a lot more just because of like the relationship dynamics. Sometimes they can be there can be things that are wrong with it or I'm just like the critical side of my brain just you know, it's not really feeling the romance. Um yeah. I checked Goodreads and the reviews were mostly positive. Um I do not really know what to expect from this. I've never read anything by Christina, Lauren, I think it's like two people. So I've never read anything by them before. Um, yeah. So those are all the books that I borrowed from the library. And I I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to finish all of them. Um, hopefully I can renew some of them because I don't think that I'll be able to finish all of them in one month. Um, but, but yeah, those are all the books that I borrowed. Yes, I am filming the outro of the video the same time I'm filming the intro of the video. It's a long story. I won't get into it. Well, actually, it's not that long of a story, but I still won't get into it. Okay, thank you guys so, so much for watching, as always, and sending you guys so much love. Um, And yeah, bye-bye.